how are you uh i am good sir how about you i am fine thanks for asking okay tell me something about yourself so uh, first of all starting thanks thanks for asking for my, for my introduction i am kirti pande and i am pursuing bc from schools of management sciences lucknow i okay. belong from sultanpur uttar pradesh but i am currently living in lucknow uttar pradesh and uh, my hobbies are sketching and reading books and in free times i just scroll internet and uh, social media and all okay anything what you have done in school colleges life any of your hobbies or concern you want to add in your intro so i have participated in many cultural activities but uh, in, uh, apart from that i have participated in also sketching competitions and some uh, competitive exams That's okay. All. Okay. So I want to know in which year have you passed the graduation? So I am still pursuing and in twenty twenty two I will graduate now in okay. uh, August itself in August okay. month. Okay. And which degree you are pursuing right now? The BCA. BCA. Okay. Best so why do you want to go for a teaching profession? You might have different ample options in market. So once you complete your BCA, you might get a like sufficient job in which you can do well in your life. then why do you want to go for a domain where uh, you have to teach for long 3 4 5 hours continuously why do you want to go for this schedule so because in lockdown time i recognize that my teaching skills are very good because i give tuitions to many students and okay. from this uh, the response from there and their parents was uh, quite enough that uh, uh, i will continue my journey for that teaching uh, uh, sector in, in itself so i think teaching is what uh, this made for me Do you have any experience in teaching anywhere? Sir, I don't have any such formal uh, experience, but yes, I am giving tuitions to students uh, from uh, around uh, two years. Okay. So, so I, do you have good results from the students whom you teach? Yes, from students and from their parents also. Sir. Okay, perfect. Okay, so what do you know about Bijus Kirti? What is Bijus? Sir, Bijus is a company of think and learn. um and uh, it's a company for uh, uh, education uh, many students uh, come here register themselves and uh, uh, get a lot of thing it uh, it usually uh, describes uh, byjus is a, a, a platform in which we can prepare for all self for competitive exams also and uh, from uh, 10th up to 10th grade also and uh, many other exams there are available so i think it's a learning platform Okay, so what if I offer you a job role uh, of mentor, student success specialist in Byju's? Will you be able to do that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will be. I will be. Okay. That is why. So, I'm so like for which job role you want to apply? Academic specialist or a mentor job role? Sir, uh, I prefer both. I will prefer both. If I will be trained for uh, each of them, I will prefer both. Okay, but I think you should have one specific domain. Where you want to go? Don't switch in two domains because otherwise it will be very difficult for me to figure it out where to place you in Byju's. So stick to one thing that will that is more better. If I uh, if I tell you to choose one from them, what is your first preference? So two mentor mentor option is best. That I I prefer teaching itself and especially as was the you have some specialization in some. But I think I can teach both science and maths and I doesn't have any specialization because for a specialization I need to prepare myself and I think after preparing myself I can go for a special. But right now I am uh, going for mentor. Mentor job role. Okay. But today in this interview you are applying for academic specialist. You know that right? This is the interview yes, of academic specialist. Okay, so first we'll yes, consider that. Then I'll tell you about mentor job role as well. If we have any vacancy, okay. I'll definitely let you know. Tell me who's the founder of okay. Byju's. Uh, I I know her name, but uh, his name, but uh, right now I am not getting it. Who's the co-founder of Byju's? I haven't heard about that. I don't know. Okay, in which year Byju's was founded? So in the uh, um, uh, right to ten years before it was two thousand eleven. Yes, sir. Okay, cool. And what is the annual revenue of Byju's? Annual revenue of Byju's it's about uh, two to three, uh, two to three crore, I guess. 
road only two crores i am the million cycles i'll give you idea the the figure which you have mentioned na that is much much lesser than what byju's actually uh, like earned in a year so that is a very low uh, number which you have given but no problem what is the place to rating of byju's sir what is the place to rating of byju's any idea okay tell me three companies that byju has acquired recently any three companies so it's, it's a white hat junior and okay. uh, it's an it's what uh, grade up and uh, some and one more name is there there are a total five not total there are 35 but i have mentioned uh, i have i know five of them but right now i'm now one is a white hat junior and uh, grade up and uh, and the last one i am not getting sir okay there is one unique feature in byju's that byju's have i have introduced in previous 3 4 months so what is that unique feature i don't know sir i don't know any, any unique feature of byju's that is only in byju's and no other apps have that feature any unique feature so they interact with their parents the students parent so i think it's a unique feature because the no, because if unique. a student is it's not unique every every app does that tell me something that is only in byju's and no app is doing the same thing the visual visualization technique in uh, byju's is i think unique they they explain their uh, concepts in a realistic way so okay. i think it's a unique cool okay got your point now we'll have the live demo choose one topic whatever you want okay and explain me about the topic if i give you a chance to explain in front of students then how will you explain them show me in that manner you can go ahead with the live demo sir i will prefer the topic of menstruation and i'm not starting now sure go ahead give me a second okay sir yes, menstruation is what our topic is hmm menstruation is what menstruation is the branch of mathematics it is what it is a branch of mathematics mm -hmm. it is what it deals with the areas perimeter volume etc of some figures of some solid shapes like rectangle circle triangle we might say cuboid also cube also and sphere and so many figures there are in which menstruation we discuss all of all its areas perimeters and volumes so let's see the what is the perimeter of rectangle rectangle first of all perimeter is what perimeter is the uh, the uh, outer the outer area in which the shape is bounded so that means its length side and its breadth side is what the perimeter so it has four sides so the total perimeter of the rectangle will be length plus length and breadth plus breadth that is length plus length and breadth plus breadth because it has two breadths and two lengths so 2l plus 2b So it uh, we we can take two common here in L plus B is what is what the perimeter of rectangle. We have area also area is length and breadth length into breadth length is this and into breadth this will will get the in inner section that is the area of the rectangle. Coming to triangle, triangle is the figure is the closed figure that have three sides only. so the perimeter of triangle will be a a a if we are taking equilateral triangle tri triangle itself has many types equilateral scalen and isosceles so if you are taking equilateral triangle a a a at the sides as equilateral triangles have si all sides equal so a plus a plus a that is 3a is the perimeter and what is the area 
area will be root three upon four into a square. This is the formula. Okay. It's circle. We are digging what? We are digging circle. The perimeter of circle. The perimeter of circle is what? It is two pi r. That is the outer region. This this region only. The boundary itself only. The perimeter of circle is what? Two pi r. And what is the area? This this is the area. Area is pi r square. But what is r here? R is the distance. R is what the distance from the center center of the circle to the outer region. This mm -hmm. is the radius. And if we'll get double of this, we'll get the peri. Uh, sorry, uh, this is the diagonal diagonal of circle. Uh, now, if we come to square, square is what? Square is a closed figure that has both all sides equal. It has four four sides only. So the perimeter of square will be a a a a. That is four a. Four a what? Four a is the perimeter of square. What hmm. is the area of square? Area of square will be a into a. That is four a square. Why four a square? Because a into a that is a square, and a into a it is that is a square. Two a square plus two a square that is four a square. Perfect. Okay. Okay. No issues. You can just turn the camera back to your face, Kirti. Okay, sir. Yes. Okay, Kirti. Got your point. I have some points to mention. I'll add the points in feedback session. Okay. So now we'll have the verbal question and answer section. I'll tell you something. If I if I have the question where you have to solve, note the question, solve it, and tell me the answer. Okay. My first question is. Uh, I'll ask you some formulas, basic formulas, and then we'll move forward. Okay. My first question is from trigonometry. What is the formula of sine a plus b? Sine a plus b. Formula of sine a plus b. Sine a plus. Uh, sorry, I'm writing down the formula. Yes. Tell sine me. Sine a plus b hmm. is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. What is the am formula I, of right? cos a plus b? Cos a plus b will will get cos a cos b minus sine a sine b. What is the formula of tan a plus b? Tan a plus b a plus b will be tan a into tan b divided by one plus tan. Uh, sorry, the upper the numerator will be tan a plus tan b upon tan, tan a plus a tan b, b divided by. So the Divided by one plus tan a into tan b. Perfect. Okay. Now tell me, if suppose I am mentioning sine a is equals to cos a, then what is the value of a? Sine a is equals to cos, cos a. Say. Then what is the value of a? Sir, in trigonometric ratios, there is the value in which sine a is equals to cos a. That is cos. I guess for uh, sine forty five degree, a is equals to forty five degree. Forty five degree. Okay. What is the value of tan thirty degree? So tan thirty degree. Tan thirty degree. Yes. Thirty. The value of tan thirty degree is zero. Tan thirty is zero. Are you sure? Yes, sir, because tan is undefined. Tan zero is thirty. Uh, tan thirty is zero. No, it's wrong. Take one more chance. Think of it and tell me. So, tell me what is tan forty-five? So, tan forty-five is one. One. Okay. Tan sixty. Sixty is three. Okay. And what is the value of cos ninety? Cos ninety, cos ninety yes. zero. Okay, perfect. Okay, now tell me what is the value? Uh, what is the formula of area of trapezium? What uh, a the formula of area of trapezium are sum of two parallel sides, one upon two into sum of two parallel sides into height. Into height means distance between yes. them, right? D distance between the two parallel sides only. Perfect. Okay. What is the difference between secant and tangent? Secant and tangent. Yes. First of all, tell me what is secant. 
सर सेकंड इज द या आई एम जस्ट डिस्क्राइबिंग इट विथ फिगर इन अ सर्कल इफ वी जस्ट पास अ लाइन if we mm-hmm. just pass a line through the circle it has two uh, intersecting point of circle it is mm-hmm. known as secant and tangent okay. is what it is touching at only one point and from radius it is making an angle of 90 degree this is known as tangent and this is uh, second cool perfect got your point okay now my next question to you is suppose in probability p of e is given 0.25 okay then i am asking you what is the probability of p dash of e P dash, P dash is is nothing but the not of P that I will minus zero point two five from one. So that will y be one. So y one because the greatest probability that is of sure event is one only. We can't get a probability more than one because okay. the if probability is what? Can I explain, sir? Yes, please go ahead. probability is the situation that in which our condition will get true or not so there are conditions only uh, getting and not getting and one condi- uh, one condition in between is uh, if uh, it will get or not maybe maybe is a chance so if we if the condition like i am tossing a coin the head will be come so <clears throat> if a biased coin the probability is one because head will come only not greater than one I, we don't have any probability, any value of a probability greater than one. So it is because there is one. Okay, cool. Got your point. What is centroid? So centroid. So centroid is a if if we are taking a triangle, uh, and from diagonal uh, from the uh, uh, from the edge from that edge we are uh, uh, the centroid is what. If we are taking a triangle from the edge, we are drawing a line perpendicular to the other side, and hmm. from this and this. Sorry, hmm. I, I just. Uh-huh. So hmm. this point is known as centroid of a triangle because okay. it is the meeting point of both of uh, three lines. Okay, and tell me what is ortho center? Ortho center, yes. Ortho center is that in centroid we have just drawn the line perpendicular to the opposite line. But in ortho center, it is it is the line that we are not uh, uh, drawing perpendicular to the other side. That any side can be there. Okay, cool. Got your point. Like this, and this. This is known as centroid. Sorry. Uh, ortho center. Ortho. Yes. Okay. Cool. What is Hero's formula? Hero's formula is uh, with an under root s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c. What is s? S is a semi perimeter. So. Yes. What is s? S is a semi perimeter of uh, what is uh, the formula of s is a plus b plus c divided by two. And okay. And a plus b and b c are the sides of the triangle. Okay. What is lateral surface area of cone? Lateral surface area of sir what? Cone. Cone. What is lat- lateral surface area? Lateral surface area of cone is this side only, this region only. So this is the pi r l, where l is the slant height, r is the radius, and pi is the constant value. So pi r l is the lateral surface area of cone. Hmm. Cool. Okay. Got your point. Okay. Now suppose if HCF. Of two numbers a and b is given as eight. Note it down. HCF is given as eight of two numbers a and b. Okay. LCM is three three six. Okay. And LCM is three 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 six. Okay. The value of a is fifty six five six. Okay. Tell me what is the value of b? Okay. So there was a formula. Yes. Go ahead. Remember the formula and tell me what is the value. Okay, Thank you. 
the formula so that is why i am not able to solve this question no issues no issues what is the difference between abscissa and ordinate difference between abscissa and ordinate ordinate abscissa is the x axis and the ordinate is the y axis we in coordinates we have two points that is one uh, is uh, one the in within bracket if we write first value it is the x axis the value of x axis and the second is y axis the value of y axis so first one is known as abscissa and the second one is known as ordinate and both are termed as ordinate cool what is the perimeter of semicircle perimeter of semicircle okay yes perimeter of that means the uh, um, that means the outer region outer the boundary so perimeter of the semicircle this is the semicircle and mm -hmm. if we are taking a circle it has a perimeter of 2 pi r Mm -hmm. So, if we are catching it by a middle, that is the mm -hmm. semicircle. So, mm -hmm. it will divided by pi r. But this side is only remaining. That is the diagonal. Okay. So, we can plus two r or the diagonal itself. Pi r plus two r. Okay. Cool. Got your point. Okay. How many diagonals we have in a hexagon? Number of diagonal. Total number of diagonals in a hexagon. Uh, okay, sir. Three, uh, one, two, three diagonals. Next. Are you sure? Maximum diagonals can be three only. Sorry, sir. There are all. Yes. Tell me how many maximum diagonals can we have in a hexagon? Yes, sir. That was the formula. I'm not getting. It is n into n minus three divided by two, or uh, what was Correct. the number of sides? Correct formula. Correct formula. Now solve Because it I, I and was... tell me. You got the formula right. Now tell me. Solve it and tell me. So divided by two or the side number of sides? Divided by two. two. That is correct. Nine. No, okay, it's correct actually. Okay, tell me the relation between mean, median, and mode. Relation between mean relation, mean. not definition. Only relation I want. Uh, uh. There's only one relation. Say so it evolves. Yes, yes, sir. Mean mean plus mode is equal to three median. Yeah, mean minus mode is equal to three median. Be sure. What is it? Mean. Yes, mean minus mode is equal to three median. Are you sure? It's not right. Think of it. Mean median was there, but was the there was something else. I'm uh, in the LHS side. I'm not getting what was that. It is plus okay. or minus. Cool, cool. Got your point. Yeah. I'm giving you next question. Note it down. If suppose cos square x is equals to cos square is equals to cos square x is equals to sine x into tan x. Okay. Sine into tan x. Tan x. Then what is the value of cos cube a plus cos square a? Cos Cos square is equals to sine x into tan x. We yes. can write tan x as sine x upon cos x. Okay. And cos x will go to the LHS side, and it will it will get cross multiplied. That will form cos cube x is equals to sine square x. So we have the formula of cos cube x and cos square x. Okay. To find the value of this only. So cos yes. cube x will be sine square x, and cos square x we can write is at is at it is, and sine square x plus cos square is one. Perfect. Is the identity. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Now I have next question to you. Note the question. Five tan square a. Five tan square a. Minus five sec square a. Sec plus square one. a. Plus one. Plus one. Is equals to what? Solve this equation, then get me the answer. 
So I am recalling the question. Five times square a minus five sec square a plus one. Yes, that is only the question. Mm -hmm. I'll give you four options. The mm -hmm. option number one is six. Option two is minus five. Option three is one. Option four is minus four. Tell me the correct one. Option four. Option four is minus four. Minus. Yes, six minus five one and minus four. Tell me the correct one. Sine square is equal to sec square a. Hmm. So we can write there sec square a as if you are taking five common, it will be tan square a minus one plus tan square a plus one. That will be cancel out one. So minus four will be the answer. Minus four. Okay. Why root two is an irrational number? So because it is a, a, on uh, on deriving the root of two, it is non-terminating and non-repeating. So that okay. is why it is considered as rational. Perfect. Difference between convex and concave polygon. What is it? Convex and calling concave polygon. Concave polygon. Yes. Convex polygon is uh, somewhat like this, okay. in which we have boundaries in uh, outward direction and mm. convex, uh, sorry, concave is like something this. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, there are two points that is both that, that will define the difference between both. I'm mm -hmm. getting right now once that uh, we can uh, draw the diagonal of convex polygon within the region, within the uh, uh, figure. And mm. in conve concave polygon, the diagonal is in the outer region that is beyond the figure. And mm. one more point was there and uh, I'm not getting the point that but there were two points only, so. Okay. If suppose a polygon is there of degree N, then how many zeros will be there in that polygon? How many zeros will be there? Yes, zeros of the polygon. There is a polygon of degree n. Tell me the zeros of the polygon. I'll give you the options also if you want. Exactly one zero, at least one zero, more than, sorry, exactly one zero, at least n zeros, more than n zeros, yeah, at most n zeros. Sir, I'm not getting what zeros is. I'm not uh, remembering what the zero was. Okay, tell me the so simple I... definition. What is zeros of polynomial? Do you know what is zeros of polynomial? Okay, zero of the polynomial. I thought you were telling polygon. Po zeros of polynomial is what if we are writing the equation or if we are writing the any equation, quadratic equation, cubic equation, anything. And if we are equating it to zero and the value in which we are putting that uh, x or any whatever the variable was that. If it comes to zero, it is known as to zero of the polynomial. So okay. if uh, a, a polynomial of degree n there will be exactly in quadratic equation we have exactly two zeros and exactly exactly n zeros and exactly n zeros are you sure yes i because quadratic equation have two zeros itself so it will be having two zeros okay tell me the formula how to calculate the zero of polynomial what is the formula of that calculating zeros there is a specific formula to calculate uh, the zeros of polynomial. What is that formula? So it is it, uh, to calculate the zero. It is minus b plus minus b square minus four ac divided by two a. Okay. What is b square minus four ac? What is this called? It it what it is called I am not remembering yes. but it is it is used to find that the the polynomial will have zero or not if it if it if it, the value will be equal to zero if hmm. if only this b square minus four is hmm. will have the value of zero that will be that will be exactly two zeros and if it will be uh, smaller than one that will be it have only uh, it have only uh, I guess one and uh, Something was there, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm confused right now. 
ओके ओके गुड गॉट योर पॉइंट वॉट इज मिड पॉइंट थियोरम BC. why because this is the uh, midpoint this is uh, acting on midpoint on ab so d is the midpoint on ab and e is the midpoint of ac mm. so it is the half of bc it is the midpoint theorem okay and what is basic proportionality theorem bpt bpt i know yes. sir bpt yes that is a very common theorem yes sir yes, remember it think of it what is it and tell me yes sir bpt is if ad upon B, uh, bd or db whatever bd hmm. is a upon ec this hmm. is known as bpt theorem that's the ratio of this and this will be equal to this and this okay perfect okay got your point now my last question to you is suppose we have a triangle right angle triangle or any triangle okay i am rotating that triangle from all three edges okay so what solid shape will be formed if i am rotating the triangle cone are you sure yes sir okay now we'll have next section of this questions okay so my first question to you is like what is the salary expectation of yours so as a professor i do not expect much salary so uh, for me i think uh, my growing skill and uh, my uh, gaining experience is what i need so okay. I, i don't think suppose if i pay you 10k for 6 months will you work for byju's so i will definitely work because byju's is what a company i uh, is is that a company that i want to join okay cool okay so my next question to you is kirti we actually have a bond in byju's okay so there is a bond of at least 4 years okay so if you join by jews as a academic specialist you have to sign a bond of 4 years are you willing to sign a bond of 4 years bond of 4 years i will be i will yes sir but I the condition you. is if you break the bond you'll have to pay 5 lakh rupees as a compensation for bond breakage yes sir are you okay with it i i will go for it yes sir okay now i'll tell you three things arrange it in sequence sequential wise okay the three things are money work life balance and career growth what do you prefer arrange in sequence so for me career growth is the first point that for me i think uh, to know my skills to know uh, where my personality is best best suits so career growth is the first point and second work life and of balance and the third is money money is the least priority so because it is what when you have talent then you will get money but if you don't have talent you won't get money okay but proving your talent needs to be uh, like we should pay something na if you are giving your time and efforts then definitely we should give you a good amount so there should be a requirement of money if i tell you that i'll give you only 5k or 10k if you're okay with it that we are good to go for 6 months as you mentioned in 10k also you'll work for 6 month in byju so we are good to go with it okay cool okay okay so i think the interview is done now and we're done with the interview now we'll head to the feedback session of this session guys i hope aapko hamara ye video pasand aaya hoga agar pasand aaya ho to don't forget to like the video share with your friends and subscribe our channel so that aapke liye hum future mein bhi aise innovative videos laate rahe so that you can get help from all these video i'll see you soon in next video till that time take care of yourself bye bye